What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're gonna take a look at this absolutely cool 2024 Palomino Puma ultralight, super compact, lightweight travel trailer. Every time I see like the new year of this, I love to show it because they cram so much so much in a smart way into such a small package that this truly is like huge inside. You get so much and I think you're gonna enjoy this one. Hang tight, I'll be right back. So when I say lightweight, I'm not lying. Brace yourself for this one. This has a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,910 pounds. Gross axle, the single axle on this thing supports 3,500 pounds. Cargo capacity 943 pounds, which I think is more than enough for a trailer this size. Dry weight of 2,938 pounds, an overall length of 18 feet 6 inches long, and has 14 inch D-rated tires, which are actually pretty good rates, rating spec for the size of trailer. But this is easily half ton towable by most half tons, and most SUVs even smaller SUVs. Just be sure you check the specs and the numbers on your specific SUV or truck. Super cool. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, first of all, I love the fact that they're actually putting a power front tongue jack on something like this. Check it out. So we're gonna step inside of this unit. I love the new colors, the new tones. This is gonna be the 12 FBX. All right, I'm gonna pan over and you're gonna love it. Check out this interior. I mean, if you are just looking for something that is big enough for a couple of adults and a child, this is probably what you're looking for. Something that you can tow with like a Durango or maybe a Jeep Cherokee or Grand Cherokee or, you know, any of those as well as, you know, if you have a smaller pickup truck. This is probably what you're looking for. This is awesome. The interior is beautiful. I love the lightness, the airiness of it. And they've just done a great job with the overall setup. You have plenty of room here. There's no slides on this unit at all. And quite frankly, this is like the ideal size for a lot of people getting into RVing. Pricing wise, has an MSRP of 34,661, which of course nobody pays that price. Sale price on this unit, $18,965, 2024 model. So let's talk about this real quick. So. At 18965 typically this would compete against RVs maybe that were sold four years ago for about twelve to thirteen to fourteen thousand dollars that were stripped of all content that were the most bare bone RV you could buy. But what you're gonna notice as we walk through this one is how there's a lot of attention to detail. There's a lot of little things that were done to make this RV a lot more appealing and something you're proud to be in versus something you're kind of embarrassed to be in. Really nice front headboard right here, or I guess this is the headboard, but front wall board right here. Nice cabinetry. It has the King Connect antenna system, so it's prepped for Wi-Fi up top, which is really nice. You have more cabinetry here. You have your Jensen theater system here as well. Nice big window right here. You have a good booth style dinette. It actually looks really nice, very finished off. And this tabletop can drop down, so you can use this as a bed. So if you have small children, it's a great place for them. On this side, cabinetry looks really nice, especially with the small glass inlay on it. Three-year warranty against, I guess this is for your flooring, okay? That's the linoleum flooring. Good size sink. It actually looks nice. Even though it's a plastic sink, it looks really nice in here because it blends in with the lighter tones. You have your cabinetry below as well. And you have your drawer. Now these don't have traditional rollers to pull them out. You lift the drawer up and you pull out and it basically slides on some plastic guides. So it's not a traditional roller. This is definitely an area that saves some weight, saves some expense and cost, and it's still functional but it does make it feel a little cheaper because they did that. But you know when you have to shave the price somewhere so you can reinvest it in other places. So you got good storage here on each side. So this is gonna be your furnace. This is what's gonna blow your hot air out whenever you wanna heat things up. And this is just gonna be a panel to cover up some wiring. You have a fair amount of prep space here. Two burner cooktop. Small compact microwave though. It feels really, really nice. It actually feels like it's built real well. And then you will have a vent hood over here and you want to be sure on the outside you open up that outside vent otherwise you're just going to recirculate the air inside. 
has a huge refrigerator for the size of RV this is. It's a Furion unit. Step on this side. And the handle is like the whole length up here. I don't think I've seen this model before. But this is a really, really good size refrigerator. And it actually opens from either side. So you can open the door on this side or you can open it on that side without having to actually change any hinges or anything. So that is cool. Checking out the bathroom. So this is only a toilet and a tub. It would have been cool to see like a cornered sink, kind of like you see in some toy haulers. But you do have a good amount of space in here. I mean, it's average. This is a plastic toilet. You have your little toilet paper holder right there. I'd probably relocate that if I could. I don't know really where, maybe on the door itself. But it's a good sized bathroom for such a small trailer. I mean, a hair over 18 feet long. And on the back here, we got some pantry storage on top and on the bottom. Very cool. What do you guys think of the interior? Anyways, let's hop out to the outside and see if they've done anything different out there. Okay, starting from the front, I love the fact that they have a power front tongue jack. Spot for a single 20 pound propane can. Spot for two batteries, which is really nice. Nice power disconnect over here as well if you want to kill power to the unit in case you have it in storage and you don't want to draw coming off of the battery. Scissor style stabilizer jacks all the way around. This has a huge front storage area. That is kind of shocking to be honest. That is a huge, huge front storage area. Not pass through, but you don't need it to be with that much storage. Got your awning up top with some speakers that connect to the inside stereo system. 110 outlet right here. This has a Tamarack ST radial tire. I really think they should have just put a Goodyear Endurance or something a little higher end on here. This tire is probably good for a couple thousand miles, then I would definitely upgrade it to something uh, something a little better. There's leaf sprung suspension. Can't really upgrade the suspension on here just because it doesn't really have anything to upgrade. I guess you could upgrade that shackle strap right there. You could put a heavy duty shackle strap, greasable wet bolt in there, greasable wet bolt up here, and you would have a significantly improved or more reliable suspension system make a recommendation for Puma to do that from the factory. Your back scissor jacks. It is prepped for a Furion wireless backup camera. All LED lighting. Back here is gonna be your cable satellite input from the campground. Dump station over here. 30 amp connection for your, mainly for your air conditioning in your refrigerator or microwave, but yeah, 30 amp connection. This is outside of your furnace. This is where you fill up your fresh water tank outside of your shower and city water connection whenever you're at an RV park. And this is gonna be the outside of your water heater. What do you guys think? Again, I really like this unit. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I think this is the type of RV a lot of people are looking for when they get into RVing because it's compact. It doesn't take a huge tow vehicle to tow it. It's relatively short. You can fit it just about anywhere. And it has everything you need to accommodate a small family if you're gonna be going out for a few days or shoot, even a few weeks. I'd love to know your opinion. Please leave a comment below. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.